as you're growing older you look into the mirror and you start noticing I have a pimple on my face and what happens well I want to make Calvin Klein rich that's all or I want to make someone else rich by buying all sorts of things and listen I'm not picking on makeup at all but I'm picking on the way it's being done today that's a reality the way it's being done today is such that it has resulted in chaos across the globe people are depressed they cannot come to the door without painting their faces they will not be able to even go to school without looking like someone they are not subhanallah where is the peace how long is this going to last wallahi be happy with what you look like for indeed that will become a point of comfort and peace a point of happiness don't worry someone somewhere will really adore you for exactly who you are you don't need to prove to the world that you are blemishless we all have blemishes we all have bent noses we all have teeth that are not in order we all have something here and there that is Allah's way of letting you know that you are a human being here for a bigger purpose our life has been reduced to worrying about cosmetics males included not just the females subhanallah like I said I'm not attacking makeup because to a certain point with certain conditions yes it may be there but I'm talking of the the way it is progressing nowadays how it is developing people are going beyond the limits it brings about chaos in our lives because I know of cases as a counselor where there are some wives who don't allow their husbands to see them without makeup why did I marry you man why did I marry you subhanallah imagine what would happen if he cannot see you because you don't have makeup now that you have makeup I guess he cannot touch you Allahu Akbar may Allah forgive us where will it end my brothers and sisters as you will notice from what I'm saying as you will realize sometimes the chaos from a certain angle and I will be speaking about it from a few different angles but from a certain angle is chaos within us within the individual there is chaos in my heart I don't have happiness I don't have contentment I'm not calm everything is chaotic I'm running from pillar to post I don't know what I want you know why sometimes materialism has taken over our hearts so purify the heart you don't need to have the latest you don't need to stand out such that you are the best and the top no in the eyes of Allah you will always be the best in your own unique way in your own unique way you are definitely the best what is your relationship with Allah do you really fulfill your salah if you don't how do you want that happiness how do you want your heart to become pure you have not gotten up for Salatul Fajr in so many days in so many months you have not even picked up the Quran in so many months as well the last time was the previous Ramadan how do you want that internal chaos to be dealt with when you haven't even thought about pleasing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala brothers and sisters this is mainly for sisters but brothers can also benefit from this because you have probably got a relative or someone related to you that's in this position what I want to say to you very short and precisely is that there are certain sisters who are doing their nails up doing make you know putting makeup on their face and and you know going out there and I've got nothing against them I'm not putting them down I'm not asking anyone else to look down on them but I want you to think about one thing, my sister. That is that you're in a world where it, it is, unfortunately, many a times dragged by the whims and desires of men. And men want women to wear these things for their own whims, desires, for their eyes, for their egos. And think about what's happening to you. You've become or you're becoming a commodity. 
you're becoming someone who is there just for others to make money out of you and for you to become the pleasure of people's eyes who you don't even want near you. Now think about it, sister, please. I know sometimes you want to be out there and you want others to look at you. The whole point is attraction and the whole point is that you want a competition between women because women have a competition between themselves sometimes to see who's the prettiest of all. You know, mirror, mirror, who's the prettiest out there of all. Or between men, you know, you want the, the man or, you know, the men out there, the best men to look at you. Fine. But there's a price to pay. My sister, for all those good men that will look at you, there's also many men that you don't want looking at you. And you're going to say, well, it's my right to dress up like this. And it's the right of them to turn away. But Allah has said something in the Quran. He has said in the beginning of the 22nd Jews, He has said, The man who has got an illness in his heart, an ill desire towards women in his heart, he will be, he will be covetous and he will want to get his hands on you or he will want to be or behave in a way that is inappropriate. Now the thing is, my sister, is that you might still say, well, you know, that's his problem. It is true. It's his problem. But think about you. Have you become the commodity of, the, of, of this whole commercialized world? Are you just a product where you're being sold items for your nails, for your face, that you don't really need? Seriously, women out there are having facials done for 200 pounds. Sometimes 100 pounds, sometimes 200 pounds, sometimes more. Just a facial done. And, well, what does it do? If you really think about it, what does it do? Well, after a while, she's got to wash it off. And after a while, it's the same face. A same beautiful face that Allah gave her. It's beautiful anyway. My sister, what I want to say to you is, you're already beautiful without doing your face up. You're already beautiful without doing your nails up. You're already, already beautiful without wearing all those, all those glamorous clothes. Why? Because Allah Azza wa Jal has made women more beautiful than men. Naturally, this is the case. And you're beautiful wherever you are. And it's better that you stay naturally the way Allah's kept you. And one day, if somebody actually sees you and desires you, because of your natural face, if that actually happens, then you've got true love there. Because you know what I want to say to you, my sister, and brothers who are listening out there is, when people do their face up and they pose in front of a camera and they take a selfie or they post it onto Instagram, or onto the Facebook update or whatever it is okay, out there, when people do that, it's not really their face. And let's not fake it. It's not your face. And when people see you like that, they think it's a different, they, they think it's a really, wow, wow, wow. You know, that, that person, yeah, 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 yeah. You know? And after that, what happens? The day they see them without the makeup, they're kind of let down a bit. And I want to say to you, my brothers and sisters, let's not live in a fake world that's been created for us. Live in the real world. The real world is your real face. Allah is giving you a beautiful face. The real world is your beautiful self. And you don't need to put, you know, you don't need to spend hundreds of pounds to buy these products. And you don't need to be the reason for so many out there to have, you know, to have the wrong eyes on you. That's not what you want. You just want a good companionship with the right person. One person you get married to who is halal for you. And you stay like that for your life in this world. Because what is, what is that? You want companionship with true love, which is looking after you. That's what you really want. And all this glamour and all everything else that you place up, it doesn't give you always that. So please think about it. Don't become a commodity out there and don't become the lust for the eyes of people out there that really don't have the right desire or the right heart. Assalamu alaikum wa